You, you can speak. I don't know what you just said. Fine, I will do it. Hello, and welcome to Build with Beyond Tomorrow. Today we will cover Logic Gates. Let's jump right into it. I have prepared some examples. The first example is AND Gate. Two inputs need to be active in order for this gate to work. In this case, I use levers as my inputs. And the output is the light. As you can see, the light only turns on when both levers are green. It can be useful for making a two-button timer. I use this logic in my rocket launch procedure. This was the AND gate. Now it's time for the OR gate. The OR gate is very simple and useful. It has two inputs just like AND gate. OR gate needs just one input to work. It's useful for making a two-way door system and many other stuff you can think of. Now let's move to XOR gate. Two inputs, just like the previous gates. But compared to OR gate, XOR gate checks for difference between inputs. This means that XOR gate works only when inputs are different and not the same. XOR gate is rarely used compared to other gates. But it is very useful just like other gates. Now let's move to the next gate, inverter. Simple as it sounds. It inverts the output. So when the lever is off, the light will stay on. And vice versa. You can create basic airlock with just one inverter. Now it's time for repeater gate. Once activated, it will repeat the output in a loop. You can change the timing with the configuration tool. The repeater will run forever when activated. It's useful for making a disco floor and light effects. And finally, the delay gate. When activated, it will output the task after delay. Like with the repeater, you can use configuration tool to change delay time. 
That's all for today, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And until next time.